All right, and I got these Gladiola bulbs from the dollar store. I mean, they were $1.25, but I mean, you get four bulbs in each package for a dollar 25 you can't beat that this six pack of uh bulb starters i also got the dog absolutely so separately you cannot get that from the dollar store i also got this 10 pack of planter tags um labels i went ahead and wrote down what these flowers are and of course the date that we are planting these bulbs um and again like i said four goes in each um pack it i started by filling up the planters two-thirds of the way um all of them this flat portion is going to be the bottom and then that oniony top like i don't know how to describe that but that's how you determine what's the top portion actually some of them you may get lucky and start to see some sprouting which would absolutely um you know let you know which way is the top and which way is the bottom so because i had six of these like okay here you go right here you can see that one of the bulbs have already started to sprout so we're going to put that faced up right into our planter um two bulbs in each of them we don't want to overcrowd we don't want to over you know um we want to get a nice little spacing and two in each of them i went ahead next and just dropped in my plant labels um two yellow pots and i think the rest four is going to be the pink gladiolas um and again you just see that i wrote the name down and the date that we planted though so that we can just keep a record i do also write all of this stuff down in my plant journal which i highly recommend you doing as well because the dates and the times can get away from you but it's important to know um so i did three holes inside of the water bottle so you can get that sprinkler effect uh right after you know i put another third of the soil mixed with perlite right on top of each of the bulbs and i'm not going to soak them to where you know the water is coming out of the bottom but just enough so that you know the soil is nice and moist that it gets down into the bulbs and i set them right outside on my patio which is south facing right along with my other plants that are we're waiting to bloom and so uh, stay tuned and make sure that you guys follow me and subscribe so we can take a look and see what these gladiolas looking like once they are done blooming and all of that good stuff.